Hello friends, this is Pankaj and you're watching AEM tutorial. So in this video, I will cover the logs in AEM. So log is a file of events that are logged by a software application. So when you have installed the AEM, for example, here I have installed my AEM, this jar file. So when you install it first time, it creates this folder, CRX quick start. When I go inside this folder, you can see this logs folder. So let's go inside this. So these are the logs. These log files are default AM log files that are created out of the box when you start an AM instance. In this access.log file, all the access requests to AM and repository are registered here. For example, who is accessing and which resource is being accessed. And this is a audit.log file. It provides a record of who did what and when. And this is the error.log file. Error messages are registered here. This is the history.log. It, it holds the information about the things your editors do. For example, editing, deleting, viewing a page, etc. Then comes request.log file. So request and response are registered here. It is used to analyze and monitor response time about how long a request takes. And coming to stderr.log file, it holds the error messages generated during AM startup. This is the std outdoor log file. This file holds the events during startup. For example, setting sling.properties, setting sling.home, sling.launchpad, and HTTP server port equal to 4502, etc. You can read the summary of these log files here. You can pause the video and read the summary of these log files. In, a, in addition to these default system log files, you can also create your own log files and customize the messages there. It helps you better track messages produced by your own application and separate them from the default log entries. Adding log messages to a component script will allow you to, to easily debug various scripts included in your application. AEM and CXDE has implemented the popular Log4j framework, which is designed to provide an easy to use logging solution. So actually two pieces of information are required to append an entry to the log file. They are log level and log messages. So log level, this is provided by the corresponding method call. For example, log.trace, log.debug, log.info. Within this method, you can also add a message. And message is provided as a parameter to the method call. For example, you can call log.method. And within this, you can write down your message. For example, this is the log message. It appends the message with the log. So this is a log message with the log level of debug to the error.log file. In my next video, we will see how you can create a custom log file for our application, which we have created. So thank you friends. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe my channel, like this video and share this with your friends. Thanks again for watching.